Howdy chaps and welcome back. Um, I've been busy. <laughs> uh, yes, I've taken a bit of a step back from YouTube. Um, I will do tutorial based videos very shortly. I've just been focusing on the XD and I've really wanted to just get it done. Um, so I have been. Um, good news, I took a deposit on the XB and that once the Finer details are sorted. Looks like it's headed to WA. So if you guys are in that neck of woods, looks like it's going to be in your neck of the woods. <laughs> so um, keep your eyes peeled if you're down that way. Um, or is it that way? I think it's that way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to a lovely bloke. Um, not sure what I will do with the money. I have had a few ideas of brewing. Um, so, just let that one simmer. I'm not sure if I'm going to go down the Falcon Coop path, or it might be a Falcon Coop, but not as you know it. Um, I've got some ideas of brewing. Don't worry, uh, it will be good. But anyway, enough about that. That's headed. Hope well, if all goes well, yeah, it's headed that way. The XD's made progress, and uh, all is well. Um, I think we should show you what we're up to. Ah uh, yes, I brought my good camera and its microphone. So, uh, the keen observers amongst you may actually be able to tell that the front of the car is now painted. Mm. Um, engine bays really, really really suck to paint they really really do um now unfortunately i've had i've yeah, just because it's an engine bay there is a little bit of dry spray just on the firewall and behind the shock towers because what i had to do and it really sucks is i had to climb in here and i'm not exactly the most slender of chaps um and paint all in there do several coats and then sort of paint the towers and stuff and then back myself out climb out through one of these holes and over the top and then unfortunately i had to paint the rest of it because that's how i can only reach and the painting of this area which looks fantastic has wafted that way and has picked up a bit of dry spray it's not the end of the world um it can be hand polished up to a shine again uh it does have like two or three coats of um two pack on it so it is going to be shiny just you might just have to clean it again and then of course I did across the top here and around the plenum chamber areas last and down here so I actually had to do a rather large amount of work to this engine bay because this car has been hammered and I mean this car has been you know royally beaten up like as it, I almost say don't buy a cop car because they get a hammering um, but like the rad support's been off this has all been off and re-welded, you can tell by all of that around there. Like, this car has been hammered, and one of the areas that bothered me, you might have been able to see it in an old video, is there was a big, whocking great big crease that ran straight through here. So it had this, and then another fold right through the guts of it. And I've done my be absolute best to get that back. But man, oh man, that was absolutely just crushed in through there. Um, and the last couple of times it was painted, they didn't even fix it, they just painted it straight over it. And I was like, well, it's all good and well until you get another XD next to it, and then you're about to look and go, ooh. So it's actually supposed to be relatively flat through there with a, like a weird looking pressing. And unfortunately, considering how really badly it was, I, I've just done my best to try and straighten it up. So that area was a mess. Somebody had welded up all the battery tray holes, so eventually we'd like to put a battery tray back in the engine bay so I've had to drill all those through but unfortunately because the captive nuts were destroyed in the process you'll just have to run um, put in nut certs or a just a nut on the underside of it eventually so there's been a few things that people have done to this car to um, not exactly do it a power of good so that and I had to take out all the wiring that was destroyed like it was all tucked in through the chassis rails and all sorts and came out through a hole in here and just and then of course the wiring had been hit by the wheel like 17 times 
and it had worn basically straight through it so unfortunately I had to make a command decision and just snip it there I can re I can re-solder it back together uh, down the track but I do think this car needs a fresh wiring loom um, so because it's just butchered from front to back so that would be a smarter option um, but it was the only way to get it out because it was just intertwined and the most horrible horrifying way they, they decided to hide the, the wiring but the wiring is supposed to come out the hole go up the top drop down here and run across the front and up through here um, but I had to get it all out anyway but we've just basically reset the engine bay back to zero um, and this is I've got I got sent by the owner some lovely photos of the blackouts on this car because being a GL uh, it doesn't actually have the blacked out windows but it does have blacked out sill panels so up to here and down the sill panels are black um, which I thought they were um, just you had a sliver of white on the top of them and then the bottom of it was black but no apparently the black goes all the way into the door jam and then on Monday I'll do them I'll go under the guards paint them black go back in the boot paint that black and go from here across take these off and just tick all that up again and paint it all black and uh, I think according to the photos that the front of this is supposed to be black as well for some reason it's got eyeliner um, and then of course it's black just here so I'll mask neatly in that area and just paint that bit black um, so ah, and of course you know I did the engine bay did the scuttles they come out fairly well dulled off a little bit but I mean that's why buffs are invented <laughs> but um, come out rather well um, I've seen this car in primer for like two years and it's weird looking at it fully painted so um, obviously had to take the wiring wipers out fuel lines out just tucked inside the car for now um, fuel line was leaking the rubber hose was broken and yeah, all kinds of stuff so somehow it's still got petrol in it <clears throat> Oh, and I stuck these on. I think you might have seen that last video. Uh, yeah, we'll just do a bit of a walk around. And it's looking lovely. Found some of the mouldings. Put them back on. Uh, I don't know where the other sides are. I think some of these parts are stashed with the owner's owner of the car's other cars. So I think we might have taken them up there at some point and put them with it. So they're not, unfortunately, here. But it's not a big issue. And what I'll do is put a, because uh, I had to take the steering rack out and everything like that. I'll just do what I do with all the other cars and just put a bar with a couple of bolts in the end of it and use that as a steering. So the front wheels are linked together. Because obviously you probably need to get the steering rack redone and a few things like that. And yes, I didn't tape up the steering column but I'm pretty sure the dash has got to come out and the steering column will probably come out for a resto for the rest of the inside of the car and that'll get tickled up then and you'll put a new seal in there probably take the heater box out and put a new seal there and get the core redone you know there's a few little things that'll have to happen once the owner gets the car but I think uh, we're yeah look February 82 there's people wondering uh, engine code H351 if you'd like to know so yes this is a 351 GL Falcon um, so yeah it's a pretty cool option car really and we've got to paint the sun visor too because it's got a grandpa hat that's got to go with these holes here or is it yeah well maybe it's these two holes here I don't know maybe one of those two it'll be some of those holes I was going to say, I did a little bit of a product review, so I've used this primer after uh, doing Spot Prime. It is really good stuff. I mean, for Nick's here, if you want to know how to say that. Um, particularly good. I found that to be a really, really good um, high build rattle can primer. Uh, I've been impressed by it, actually. Another product is the Etch Primer we've been using really good stuff that's what's all over that 
and a rust converter that I have been astonished by is this stuff. Um, it turns the steel black, like, um, and apparently paint, you, you spray it on, let it go off, and you can pretty much paint straight over the top of it. Um, it turns all the rust to black, and I found it really, really good, especially for, like, um, you know, areas with just some minor surface rust, you just spray it into some, you know, crevices and whatnot, and just let it go off and clean up the edges, and off you go. Uh, it is really difficult to get off paint, by the way. You need thinners and a fair bit of elbow grease to get it off paint, so don't get it on paint you care about. And, of course, I had to seam seal the living snot out of this engine bay. All of the nooks and crannies have been seam sealed. Oops, my tum-tum touches the front of this. It's Luckily, it's dry. Um, so, I've just tried to do the best possible job. So, yeah, you got to seam seal all your edges, otherwise you'll get surface rust creeping in from all your edges and seams and stuff. So, you might notice there's no real gaps so though the last couple of people who painted this didn't seam seal any of the edges and you would have seen probably in another video there was surface rust um, around all the edges everywhere you could look um, that's because they didn't seam seal so before you paint but after you prime so you prime rub it down prep seal it then you seam seal all your edges and then you can paint straight over the top of the seam sealer so don't forget to seam seal your engine bays chaps when you're doing it and yes i've tried my best um and for a shed job and the fact that engine bays are truly awful to do it hasn't turned out too shabby and that's the entire uh, body shell done i just gotta do the blacks and then we park it way over there out of the way and start on all the panels so I hope you enjoyed this little update. The car's now effectively all the white's done. The XB's on its way, or well, not yet, but um, it's been um, purchased. And uh, yeah, all is plodding along quite nicely. And I will get back into doing some videos shortly because we need to work on those two over there. And I need to do the chassis rail on this and these two over here. <laughs> and eventually do the dog legs on that. So I've got a few things, and of course, let's not forget Peter's guards, which are nearly done. They just need a bit more loving. Pretty happy about that. So, all is actually going rather well. So catch you on the next one, and uh, hopefully you won't get too many more update videos. You might get a tutorial video uh, on something in the near future. So thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you in the next one.